Sumter Today is presented by USC Sumter, Sumter Tourism, and Prisma Health. It's called the Mission Series, and this is our 12th Mission Series. We did skip a year with COVID, uh, but the goal of the Mission Series is to bring in uh, a renowned Christian speaker for our students and the community. And sometimes we can get um, a speaker that'll do a, a, a daytime assembly for our kids. Uh, sometimes it's a, it's a one and done and we have to choose whether it's a, a daytime or a nighttime. And, and because of Mr. Tebow's schedule, it had to be a daytime because he actually had to go to work. So why Tim? Um, I think it's good. I think, I, you know, to me, he's a young guy. Uh, but to our students, he's probably an old guy. And so, so, you know, we bring a speaker in that's 60, 70 years old and has great wisdom. Sometimes our kids have a hard time identifying. So this year we wanted to find somebody that I felt was a role model for them who they might have heard of uh, over the years. Uh, but still, this is the guy that graduated high school almost 20 years ago and had his professional career. Most of these kids weren't even born yet when he was tying up his career. So, so still, I think he's about 35 years old, he's still a contemporary that we felt comfortable in his Christian strength and beliefs and what he has shown that he would be a good model for our kids. No one takes care of families like Prisma Health. As South Carolina's largest health system, we have nearly 600 primary care doctors across the Midlands and upstate so you can choose the one who's right for you. With a more personalized approach, more locations, and more convenience, including 24-7 virtual urgent care and online or in-person visits with your primary care doctor, we're doing even more to help you be your healthiest you. Prisma Health, the primary care experts. The, the issue with, with Tim and working through all the contract and, and all the negotiations there is just he's a very busy guy. He still has lots of jobs. He is not a retired man. He has obligations. And so um, what we had to do uh, was to remain flexible so that we could fit into his schedule. Yeah, there were people from around the state. There was, uh, I think one of the schools was from Hilton Head. Uh, we had families from Charleston come up. So I think there was a, a variety of folks that, that had enough interest. Your social media cures a lot of things, and once you can get an item shared uh, by people, the word kind of spreads a little bit that he's here. The difficulty was it being a 1.30 rather than a 7 o'clock. So for us to have a 1,500 person audience at 1.30 speaks volumes about him and, and the, the respect that he carries with, with all ages. Tim Tebow coming to Sumter is a big deal. For Mayor Merchant to come in and, and uh, to present the key to the city, um, Sumter is a wonderful town, and, and uh, um, I think that for someone like Tim Tebow, Bob Goff, Max Lucado, these really big name speakers come to our community, and it's just a great opportunity for our churches, for our kids in school, and for our parents. Sumter has a strong network, Christian network, and we showed up today, and I think, I think Tim Tebow left today with as much excitement for his, his speech as we were in anticipation of his speech.